Yo, what's going on you guys? So I'm bringing you guys a highly requested series that a lot of people on my stream have been requesting where I watch back old matches of mine, mostly tournament matches, and I try to dissect my decisions and just explain how I was feeling, you know, how I dealt with my emotions, um, the decisions I made during those matches, why I made them. And uh, I apologize if this first video in the series isn't as good as people hoped it to be but i'm pretty sure as i keep doing them i'm gonna keep getting better at them but the first match we got right here is me versus sonic at celtic throwdown i'll probably be doing every match that i was in at celtic considering i won this tournament so i'm gonna just go through uh, my entire run probably and i'm gonna be going i'm gonna be doing matches as far back as to like when i first started competing and stuff so yeah we got this first match with me and sonic let's go How he does in this winners finals because rewind has just been the moment firm ass handshake and then he touches my head all right then but all right fuck this i'm skipping the button check they will be able to crouch your next time all right <clears throat> so around this point in the bracket this is top eight winners side i think winners finals right so this is probably like i think i was already in top three right here like we're fighting for grand finals yeah we're fighting for grand finals. oh my god i whiffed all right so uh quick background check as to um how i even got this knowledge <clears throat> of the matchup sonic ran a long set with me a pretty not not a long set but a decently long set before the tournament and he fucked up doing that to be honest because i had no idea what i was supposed to do versus devora if he did not give me those matches because devora is a very setup character she's a hard setup character and if you do not know what the hell is going on you are going to get steamrolled till this day you will get steamrolled if you don't know the matchup yeah i was fit. i was looking for that gap i learned that i asked so many questions during our uh, casuals before i was like bro there's a gap right there. He's like, yeah, you can flaws block. All right, then I flaws block in the tournament. Restand. I didn't know what the fuck that was on block. That was so lucky. I don't even think I was trying to read that. I think I was just trying to down two some shit. No, I think I was just trying to tech. Yeah, yeah, I was just trying to tech. Overhead. For some reason, I don't remember if I even knew if the overhead was punishable. Like, as you guys can see, like, I'm very fortunate that Liu Kang was hella broken around this point because... A lot of the shit I was... Oh my goodness, got my shit whiff punished. It's a fatal blow. That's the round. <clears throat> but yeah, sometimes in this matchup, during this tournament, I was winging it because there's so there's so much stuff to Devora Buzz specifically that, you know what I'm saying? I was just praying that Liu Kang was just broke enough at certain points to just give me this dub, you know what I'm saying? But I honestly was playing good though because everybody else was getting cooked by this Devora. Set up. So right here on that Devora setup, you basically have to hold everything that she's about to do. She can choose to overhead you, low you, or grab you. So it's like a three-way mix. Yeah, he just kept restanding me. I'm getting cooked in this corner. Yeah, just pack it up. I think this game is over. Yeah. Next match. <laughs> All right, going into this next match, I was like, let's play better. You know, I don't really know what to say. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, fuck, let's stop mashing. Uh, that shit's broke. See right there, basically, even if I tech that throw, I'm still guaranteed to get hit by those bugs that he put on the floor. Floss blocked that gap again because I'm ridiculous. Counter hit. I don't know why. I probably should have spent that KB. I don't know, though. I'm way better now with Lou than I was back then, but Lou is a way better character overall back then. This was Ford 4. Uh, this is when Ford 4 was 9 frames, by the way. Ever since this tournament, it's gotten nerfed to 11 frames. Loading up the bicycle kick. Yeah, Sonic was mashing. 
<clears throat> versus Sonic, I already had my mind made up that I was going to just check, check, check. I was so scared to throw Sonic because Sonic is so hard to throw. He's either always mashing or he's he, he always texts the right way. Micro duck. Bro, this tournament, I micro ducked so much. I micro ducked so many things. That's actually the only thing that can anti air devour. Oh my god, the dash under him. Insane. Um, that's the only thing that you can actually really anti air devour consistently with, with Liu Kang. But her jump one actually has a hurt box on it, so you actually can down to her, uh, her little arm, her long ass little arm. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Am I gonna lose? I honestly don't. It... Okay, Chip. He was guaranteed to die. But yeah. Against Sonic, my primary like um mindset is to just check first and then grab later. Because Sonic... I don't know why he hates getting thrown. Like that fool would rather get checked before he'll get thrown. I feel like he'll probably disagree with me, but that's just like what I've picked up on watching. Yeah, crouch that. So Devorah actually has two enders to that string. She has one that she has that ender where it, it's a high and it whiffs, and then she has another one where it's an overhead. <clears throat> I basically just guessed right, to be honest. He whipped the overhead. I was so ready. I was gonna block that shit anyway. I'm an idiot. I overextended. Don't know why I did that. I have a decent health lead and around. Shouldn't have even done that. Now I'm in a vortex, and I feel like I think right here I'm beginning to get anxious. You know, I'm like, bruh. I was just up. Now I'm losing. Now I gotta rush to get the health lead back, and then I ended up getting Steve Rowe for it. That had to have been an input error. I don't know why he would ever do stand three. I don't know what he even meant to do. So basically, that one, two, uh, there's a third hit to it, and you can floss block it. I've done it multiple times in the first game and the second game. That's why he keeps staggering it. He just keeps doing the first two hits and then poking me so that I don't um, flawless block it. Or he's just trying to... Yep, KB. Fuck. I was mostly just whiffing that normal, sticking it out, because sometimes Sonic gets antsy and just tries to go... Oh my god, I'm... He, he gets antsy and tries to start rushing your shit because he, feel, he starts feeling confident. You know what I'm saying? He starts feeling like he has you scared. So that's why I would stick out that one-two to try to, you know, make sure he's on his toe. Oh my god, I forgot I did that. Let me go back. Let me go back. That was insane. Hold up. So basically, I already felt like I was going to lose this game, right? I was just like, fuck it, you know? Let me just do something. So I did the ES Fireball flying kick. Fatal blow because the flying kick barely has any recovery on it. And he got hit. And when I tell you that has never worked ever again for me, it has never worked ever again for me versus anybody I played against. The moment I did this at this tournament, pretty much everybody was looking out for it. Yeah, he was not trying to see that fat fatality, bro. By the way, guys, this tournament was around over a year ago now. <clears throat> Celtic Throwdown was a tournament on the pro competition circuit, and it was super stacked. I actually went thinking it was going to be a free W because no, I thought nobody was going. And then everybody went, bro. Like, I'm telling you, all the sweats went. Like, Dragon, fucking Sonic, you know, the Commander Brothers. I went. Uh, who else went? Foxy Grandpa went, who at that time never missed the top eight. I think never missed even a winner's top eight. V oh, my God. I was just, everything was working. Uh, VGY went. Uh, that was like, that was his first tournament major, I think. And he got, he probably got like fifth or some shit like that. So all the sweats were out, man. And Tekken Master and shit, bro. Oh my god. Grr. Bro, that anti was working so well for me. I was really just sitting at that range where jump one would hit. So that I could just anti him. 
Yeah, everything was just going right. This is a lot of this is just Liu Kang shit right here. Got his entire stuff, then I dropped the combo. Then I grabbed because every time I drop combos, I just fucking grab for some reason because I just want to make up for the damage I missed. And I punished that. That was punishable. He just did it because uh, he probably assumed that, you know, if he EXed it, I was probably going to grab him. Alright guys, so I skipped ahead and went to the Grand Finals. Um, This is probably going to be a long video, I'm not going to lie, because this Grand final set went 3-2-3-2. Three, two, three, two. So, uh, just try to bust this out real quick. Uh, For all the people who, you know what I'm saying, wanted to see me dissect this bitch. Alright, so uh, this is Grand Finals, right? Um, the reason I'm fitting all this into one video is because I played Sonic three fucking sets at this one tournament. And going into this Grand Finals, my mindset was already like, yo, I 3 won him in Winner's Finals, I'm going to win this tournament. I'm playing so good right now, and if I don't beat him right now, I probably won't beat him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was playing so good, I felt like this tournament, like, was a... This was my day, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I'm on, I feel like I'm really on. I feel like I'm like the best player in the world when I'm on. Which I'm pretty sure everybody feels like that. And that's not even to be cocky, that's just, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, when I'm playing at my best, bro, I'm the best. Some people, when they play at their best, they're still not the you know, they're still alright. But, um... <clears throat> a little background going uh, before this tournament, guys, is uh, I was actually doing pretty garbage in terms of MK11 when he first came out. And, uh, there was one mechanical change that NRS changed about the game that wasn't in the game before this tournament. Uh, they basically changed it so stand ones could actually jail the opponent after a poke on block, I mean on hit. Which was huge because I got so sick and tired of poking somebody on hit, going for a stand one, and my stand one whiffing, bro. That was like a huge gripe of mine. And once they changed that, I felt like my entire game just leveled up in MK11. And I instantly won the next tournament that when they changed that shit. But I wasn't doing too good. Before this tournament, I got like 25th at Common Breaker, 33rd at CEO. And then I got, I came, I actually picked up Liu Kang and bounced back, got 9th at EVO. Should have got top 8. But, you know, fuck it. <laughs> uh, and then I won Celtic. And then before Celtic, actually, I won NA Online West. And there were some killers there, too. So, like, once I picked up Liu Kang, everything kind of just changed for me. Probably because Liu Kang was dumb as fuck, too. But, you know, fuck it. We take those. Sorry that I'm getting very off um, topic. I just wanted to give some insight as to this time period of the video oh yeah and this is this is the very first tournament after sonic won evo and this is also the first tournament that he went to after his main cassie cage got butchered nerfed she didn't get butchered but she got nerfed to the point where sonic had to pick up somebody else going into this tournament everybody was like why is he not playing cassie but bro cassie got nerfed she was not the same she was when he won evo but sonic was still the evo champ coming into here Yeah, this game, this first game was bad. Sorry that I talked the entire first game away, but it's going to be a long fucking set anyway. Alright, so uh, basically how I deal with losing that first game, I was anti-ring him with that down through pretty much every time. How I dealt with losing that first game, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, alright, it is what it is. I'm in winners, I'm in winner's side grand finals, he's in losers. That means he has to beat me in a first of three, reset the bracket, send me to losers bracket, and then he has to beat me in another first of three if he wants to win a tournament. Me, on the other hand, I just have to win one first three and I win the tournament because I beat him in winner's finals. I would preferably close this shit out before I get reset, you know? Who wouldn't? But, as you can tell by the length on this motherfucking video, that's not what happened. That was a terrible break. I don't know why Sonny did that. He was just going to end up getting chipped anyway. That's what we call a mistake away. Shout out to my boy Silver Eye. I don't even know if he came up with that shit, but. Jesus, this is really back when Flu Kang's 4 4 was really 9 frames, bro. That shit was so busted. I used to not throw any other button out besides 4 4 back then. 
I promise you. So yeah, he did the meatless puddle for I don't know why. He tried to fraud me out. So I did the forward four bicycle kick to get out the way of the puddle. Mm. Right there, I tried to micro duck his stand one or grab either or and grab him. I just kept wanting to check him because I was so scared to throw him, bro. I was so scared to throw him. Because, look, he has Fatal Blow. If I would have thrown... I missed the punish. I missed the punish. Give me that throw. Yeah, I was fishing for that uh, Crushing Bow throw the whole time. Yeah, I kept checking him over and over again because I knew that he knew I had KB throw. You know? So, I was just keeping it. Waiting for the right moment to use it. See how dumb that is, bro? Keep in mind, though. At this time, Devora was so... She's still super underplayed. So all the shit Sonic was doing in this video, people can he could still do today, and people would still get smacked by it, because I don't understand why that whiff. I got lucky. Overhead. And bro, I couldn't block it overhead to save my life. And then I got whiff punished, and there goes my first round. Oh my god. Yo, I was down throwing him. I don't know why he kept jumping at me. I just, he probably thought I was, I just didn't have those or something. I could not get Sonic to stop jumping. Like, I didn't care. He could have just kept jumping at me, to be honest. Keep jumping, keep getting answered. Fuck it, you know? Now I got it fully loaded. I shouldn't have jumped right there. Does that still reach? Wow. Oh, I actually got the punish. KB. Give me that. At this point, I'm just trying to chip him. Ooh, he let me stagger that three times. Mm. Back throw. Down to KBC. This is why I did not want to throw Sonic that entire fucking set. That that one throw KB. Bro, look at that. You saw how I teched the. Ooh, I don't even know. Did he? I don't even know if he threw. I missed the punish. See, I'm a bot. There's so many things I didn't know. Now he's only like one throw or a couple fireballs away from death. That was kind of insane. I dashed up just to get him to try to react and he fatal blowed. Actually shocked he fatal blowed. Yeah, that had to have been input error. He must have tried to do down four or something. Grab. See, he teched it. That's why I didn't want to fucking... I mean, you still got to throw. One thing that you guys have to understand is if people read your throw and, and also take your throws a lot, don't let that make you not want to ever throw them again. I had that I had that problem back then. You have to keep enforcing that throw, stri uh, strike throw my game, bro. Because otherwise, it's not a 50-50 anymore. At the, I remember at that time when I punished it, I was like, shit, man, I better, this shit, I better win this round or else this was a waste. Because I knew it wasn't going to kill the moment I went for it. And he has Fatal Blow, so he could easily rob me. Oh my god. I cannot believe I poked that one round away from basically winning this tournament 3-1. Oh, oh my god, that was such an ugly punish. I was just so... At this point, I was kind of like, wow, everything's going right for me. He did not just whip that down, too. I tried to do forward four, and I got stand four. 
tech yet, so that's why he's oh my god. The grab is a Look at how threat. dumb that is, bro. Restand, what a conversion now. The corner giving Devora max damage. More pressure thanks to the bugs, but a lot more work that needs doing. Fox, I guess so good with these setup characters. Right he doesn't want to overextend the line. Oh, right now, there's the whip punish. A little bit of damage, but it's enough when you've got the life lead. The patience from Bro, I was trying to win so bad, like so fast. I was just like trying to get it over with, bro. Oh, no. Oh, I actually got the punish. Oh, what was that punish? That's how you know I was like losing my train of thought. I did, I already forgot that I had that KB already used. Ooh, chipped. No. And he jumps. What a choice. If he sat there and held it, he probably would have died. The thing is, in that situation, Rewind has gone for the, the mid every time. And if he went for it... I was trying to win this bitch, man. I was trying to stay composed. Even when I would win around and be on game point or set point, you got to stay composed, man. A lot of people rush too fast to win or they be feeling themselves too hard and then they end up getting this shit, you know what I'm saying, came back on. Pop. Sheesh. Game point. Can't believe I ended up choking this as bad. Ooh. Mm, I actually got that punish. Hmm. He saves it for later. And now that setup is so broken. The jump in, the fatal blow is good. Sonic Fox staying alive here in Grand. Bro, that setup, now, that setup hits you, you whether you tech or not. I don't, I, I genuinely don't know. No, it doesn't kill. He's this, still alive. This tournament is not over. Oh, one more game and don't. We're going to game five. This is going to be a reset for Sonic Fox if he can get it. Bro, at this point when I lost that match, I was like, oh my fucking gosh, bro. Like, this is classic Sonic. Just, he just doesn't want to die. Just lose. You know what I'm saying? Just lose. He actually escaped, uh, failed his escape twice. He, he failed the tech. No conversion? I actually can't believe I didn't convert that. I don't know why I didn't convert that. I did not want to throw Sonic, bro. I was so scared to throw Sonic. Look at how many times I did forward four, bro. I did not want to throw Sonic, bro. Every time I was so scared of Fatal Blow. And I take that, and I think I get timed out, bro. I'm really not throwing, bro. That's crazy. I didn't throw one time. <laughs> Yeah, now I think this round I was like, I'm throwing the fuck at him because I'm so salty I didn't throw him. Yeah, I don't know why he kept doing that. He probably kept thinking I was conditioned by the overhead, but I don't think he even did it that much. Oh, no. Then I got it again. And another escape failed rewind. And she's loaded back up again. Very, very smart neutral jump. Damage for it though. Another tech. Back. Oh, wow. I caught all my word. Once more, rewind. This is the make or break round of the tournament. If Sonic Fox wins, it is a reset bracket, and we are going back to 0 0. Rewind. This is tournament. I was so not trying to get reset. Keep in mind, I have the throw escape still. And then I anti-aired him. Fox, do not jump at me, good sir. So much damage to end. 
And then I got shimmied. Rewind is just an absolute sentinel right now. He cannot be jumped on. He cannot be thrown. And he hit me with that broken setup, setup again. It does, granted, it doesn't do that much damage. That's the only thing about Devore is that she doesn't. Bro, everything was going so right. I don't understand. I just wanted the meaty. I just wanted the meaty. That's all I wanted to do. This was back when uh, Fatal Blows, the armor came out in five frames instead of eight. They nerfed Fatal Blows actually because the armor came out too fast. It was so scrubby. Like, I can't believe this. I was choking. I was like, no. I was like, no, please. And then I. I was trying to floss block. I was so mad. No, I wasn't even mad. I was just kind of just like annoyed that I had to fit. I have to fight him in a whole nother first of three. I was trying to stay composed. It didn't look like it. It didn't look like it right here. I'm not going to lie. I look defeated. Yeah, I hadn't. I shouldn't have just. I shouldn't have flaws blocked. I don't know why flaws blocked. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Skip that shit. I'm salty, like watching this. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm salty that I even got reset. Like you know how fire that would have been to win in a dominant fashion, like no reset. At least I won. Fuck it. I don't. Hopefully I didn't spoil it for anybody who's actually never seen this fucking set before. But it's a year old, man. It's over a year old. Oh, I micro duck okay, that. Rewind. I'm playing insane. Oh, okay. Sonic. I remember heading into the second set like, I'm not going to be like everybody else who fucking gets reset by Sonic and, you know, gets destroyed. I'm going to make this a fight or I'm going to I'm gonna lose with a fight or I'm going to win this thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, of course, I was like, fuck this. I'm winning this bitch still. I don't know why everybody think I'm about to lose, but I don't know if I was that confident in the moment. And the entire yeah, I was playing crazy good. I don't think anybody thought I was going to play this good in, after the reset. I destroyed Sonic that first game. All right, after that first win, let me let y'all know how I was feeling. I was basically like, okay, destroyed him that first game. I can still win this set. That was the first. That first game was the the confidence I needed to take the rest of the set because I was like, oh, all right. If I would have got smoked that first game, I would have been like kind of defeated, you know, like shit. Now I gotta win three more games, and he only has to win two. Hmm. The moment I got Fatal Blow, I already knew I was probably going to win this round. I don't know if I'm going to win this round. I don't remember. But the moment anybody gets Fatal Blow in this game is the moment you have a huge chance of winning. Get off me. Oh, my God. That was such a great conversion. The only reason I was able to convert with that optimal-ass conversion was because I knew that grab was coming. I read it. Look at how much damage I did. That's like the optimal into... I was. Phew. I wanted to win so bad, bro. I I needed the points because I did so bad in the pro uh, pro competition up till that point, guys. I I needed the points. I was like 14th on the leaderboard around this time. Only top 12. Whatever. Top 12. Okay. 10, 12. You get him. All right. The top 12. Ignore my idiot. Uh, whatever. Qualified for the pro comp, and I was 14. That means I had to win this, or I had to win something. I had to do hella good the rest of the pro tour. I'm gonna just leave that dumb shit I just did 10 seconds ago in the video. I could, I should be a, a smart man and edit that bitch out, but <laughs> fuck it. it. Gives us something to laugh at. You feel me? Damn. 4900. Wow. Oh, that was unsafe. 
This is a long set, bro. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I guarantee y'all, I'm telling y'all, no other video or set is gonna be this long because the only reason this shit was this long is because it was top eight. It was first to three, not first to two, and we played three times. Like, there's literally three sets in this video alone. Every other video from here on out is probably gonna be less than 10 minutes. Oh, I actually blocked that, and then I got hit because I tried to punish and got hit by the bugs. <coughs> How did I win this? Oh, probably would have killed if I did EX bugs. All right, at this point, I was like, man, I'm up 2 0. If I choke this, I am complete garbage, and I damn near did choke this bitch. I did not expect at all to be up 2 0 after getting reset. Honestly, in my brain, I was like, I know I just got reset and choked, but I'm ridiculous for being up 2-0 because everybody was getting killed by this Devorah. I'm telling you, like, Sonic was looking unstoppable with Devorah. And she really fits his playstyle, setups, all that shit. That's why he's so good with Joker. Man, bro. That was a great read on the interactable. I actually meant to just read a normal throw, but I'll take that. Mm, get off me. I was just, I was really trying to win this set. Taking everything, bro. Only one round away and up 2-0. But will he steal oh, it? Good. What an anti air. No breakaway. This is a miserable situation for Sonic Fox. Man, just to find the movement, though. Gets the button. Forward two. Low profile to standing one. That's a good stuff for Fox. He's now going to get a restand situation. Staggering it. No attempt to anti air from rewind either. You can tell he wants to be very careful here. Sonic Fox is low on resources, but that's not going to stop him from trying to get the offense. Oh, tries to anti air, but the Oop. late jump kick beats it. My bad, y'all. Had to send a young text. And I got KB. Yeah, at that point, I just gave the fuck up. I was on tournament point like, I more probably more than five times this turn uh, in this set, bro. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if everybody thought this fool is about to choke and lose. Look at that jump one, bro. Okay, rewind. You can tell me. This, this is the rewind style of Liu Kang. The crushing blows. They are so important to him. Mm -mm. Spend the resources Conversion. Flying kick. The tip of the forward four to confirm. Rewind. The clutch combos coming through. Keeping him alive in this match, but no. KB? Oh, oh man, he's trying to fucking again. kill me. To win, but this is when I tell y'all the fucking meal after this tournament, it felt so good. It felt so good. Ooh, cheeky conversion. Anti-air. Kept testing me, and I read the roll. That was like three back-to-back -back good decisions. The fuck? He must have tried to up three. Overheaded me twice. 
round. He maybe can potentially make a comeback here. He's got two bars, and as long as those overheads that at this point may as well be unblockable. Shit, that's punishable. Again, for another time. I miss four four big knife frames. Carried boys. The third time, at least. At least. And again. Sorry, folks, ready. I mean, there is no fear from Sonic Fox. He is not playing like a man. This back to, to, to the, the loss of the tournament. He's been in so many times. The oh no! And the counter hit anti air. Crushing blow. Huge damage coming through or unbreakable. What is the decision? He's going to cash out. Rewind is forced to break away the overhead. I mean, Bro, I can't no block an overhead to save my life in this set. I just didn't. The guess is between sweep or overhead, right? And he also has a low. That he can cancel into over positive. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead, bro. And the chip damage. Another Man, once this shit hit two, two, two. Let me tell y'all. What was going through my mind? I was like, I'm about to lose. I did thought I was gonna lose this whole third of it right here, bro. I thought I was gonna lose. I was like, I'm fucking gonna lose, bro. I don't know at what point in this last game where I was like, oh, I can win. But once they had 2 2, I was like, shit. This is going to be the biggest choke of the year. I had game point like over five times. I'm actually a maniac, by the way, guys. It's 3 27 a.m. where I live right now. I, I thought of this idea for the YouTube series. I mean, I know it's been requested, but I thought about literally doing it like at 3 a.m., bro. And I just did it. Fuck it, you know? Couldn't sleep anyway. I don't know, bro. I'm a choke master. I don't know why I did that. Like, I don't know why. Fuck it. I think at this point, I was like, yo, I could win this. I could win this bitch real quick. Hold up. Shout out to my sponsor, UIU. By the way, you know what I'm saying? Still my sponsor in this video a year ago. Still my sponsor today. I appreciate them for even getting me to Ireland, by the way. This guy, this tournament was in Ireland, bro. Ne this is my first time going out my country. First time I go out my country, I go out my continent. And then win. Watch out for the crushing blow if you get hit by Bro, this team. round was so it's good. I was choking. Okay, Look at how good it's I'm playing. To win. You just need to finish it. All the trade. Sorry, Fox, he is swinging. He does not want to get free. Fatal blow. Bro, I cannot believe he did that, bro. This fool does not care. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe Sonic is like this. I literally could have killed him if I just blocked it. This fool's a maniac, bro. I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe it. Oh my god. Damn. Oh my god. Sonic Fox. Sonic I'm so Fox. tilted. Button after button and he's back in the tournament for another time. But could it I'm be tilted. Even more even? This At this point in the video, I'm tilted. I'm tilted right now too. No fatal blows. So many crushing blows off the table. And the overhead that just may as well be unblockable. Oh, Ooh, KB. Okay, right here, I was like, at the start of the round, I was like, I'm going to lose. Once I got that KB, I was like, I'm going to win. Once I whiffed right there, I thought I was going to lose. Oh, my God. He choked. That was a choke. That was a huge. That was like a whole setup. And then I got smacked. Right here, I was like, I'm going to lose. Blocked the overhead, got hit. I'm going to lose. I'm going to just tell you exactly how I felt this at this every moment. I could win this. I could win this. I could win this. I'm about to win, guys. I'm about to win. I'm telling y'all, live for live, how I was feeling. I'm about to win. I'm about to win. I'm about to lose. I'm about to win. Give me this tournament, baby. It's over. I'm about to lose. I won. I can't believe I won. That's exactly how I felt. After time and time again, finally manages to seal. The deal and Sonic Fox I can, drops bro, that was. I never seen somebody win and feel like they lost. Like Sonic Fox did not make this man work for it, but finally. When I tell y'all, I cooked to, everybody to at that tournament besides Sonic. Like place, respect to everybody, every competitor there, bro. Everybody's amazing players. Anybody there can beat me on that any given day. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that was the set, bro. I hope y'all appreciated this first installment.
head ass of this uh new series inside the mind which is basically inside my mind of what goes down in my head during tournament matches and uh yeah i took this tournament i'm gonna be doing the other matches of this tournament probably and expect them to not be you know 30 minutes plus or whatever the fuck this video is about to end up being 40 minutes plus and uh ggs to sonic a year later <laughs> but all right y'all appreciate y'all man be smooth take it easy peace